Just give us your pick and why you think right now, right on the precipice of Q4, this is the right time to invest in that name. Frank, good to see you. Thanks for having me. We really like uranium miner, global uranium, uranium miner Cameco, ticker CCOCN. The reason is simple. Just yesterday, your U308 uranium spot prices hit 73.75 per pound. That's a 15-year high. Think about this, Frank. You just talked about oil. Over the past year, I'm going to read my notes here, uh, uranium prices up 44% over the past year, oil up 16.9, but you have natural gas and coal prices down 62% and 64%. Now, why do we like this name and why are we super bullish on the uranium sector? It's very simple. Um, when Fukushima hit, you basically had a decade of basically uranium um, uh, production facilities ramping down capacity. So what are we looking at now? We believe you're looking at a structural deficit of U308, um, the likes of which we've never seen before. So let, let me explain real quick. Reactor demand bottomed in 2020 at 161 million pounds. Okay. Um, and since then, it's gone up to 188 million pounds. That's 2023. And that's been basically against a backdrop of a decommissioning of nuclear plants for the better part of the past decade. Right. The point is, now that you have both the U.S. and Europe changing their mind and going back towards nuclear, given, you know, man-made climate change amongst government officials is something that's real. You have a resurgence in demand. Okay, cool. now, you're getting in the weeds a little bit. So, so demand's higher. Okay, we got you, man. Demand's higher. I got to. I, I want to play devil's advocate with you for a minute. So Cameco is your pick right now. We're looking at the shares up 35% over the last year. Uh, in their most recent earnings, they actually flagged some geopolitical risk around the world that might threaten their operations, including in Kazakhstan, where about 40% of global uranium supply comes from. Also, the African nation of Niger, some political unrest there. Um, shouldn't investors be pretty concerned about the fact that the supply of uranium might be challenged or harder to get to because of some of this political unrest? That's a great point, Frank, but that's actually a reason to buy uh, Cameco. That's the reason why prices are going to go higher. Think about this. One of the dynamics that's new, very new, is you have financial buyers in the mix now. Specifically, for instance, Sprott, uh, Physical Uranium Trust, they brought 30 million tons of uranium in 2021 and 2022. That's a new demand catalyst we've never had. And unlike the open-ended funds like GLJ, GLD, I'm sorry, where buyers, you know, basically can sell out at any time, the buyers of these financial buyers basically are locked in. They're closed in funds, meaning the material they've acquired is not going to okay. flow back into the commercial market. So this is something completely new we've never had in the uranium market. And to your point, supply is now being challenged. 